everyone and thank you so much for coming back to my channel. see I'm in my super comfy jumper and my hair's a bit of a mess I've got no makeup on we are actually just getting over a cold here in our household so I'm feeling a little bit sorry for myself but I wanted to film this video because I'm really excited to share the ideas that I have so if you can't tell by the title it's going to be some fun and mischievous elf on the shelf ideas for your children this year if that is something that you do I know elf on the shelf is relatively new it's been around for a good few years now but it is new to me I only met our elf for the first time last year and my kids are still quite young, so they don't really, they don't really move that often. They kind of just took it easy last year. But this year, from what I have heard, they are wanting to have a little bit more fun this year. So I want you to share the kind of things that they might get up to um, and give some ideas to you guys to see if that's something that you want to do with your kids. I'm also really excited to say that today's video is part of a big collaboration. Now, it was put together by Raluca from Not Just A Mum. Um, we've actually collabed on a few different videos before. We have future videos coming up as well, and she's just the loveliest person. And she asked if I want me to be part of this collaboration with a bunch of other ladies, and I said yes, obviously, and I want to share the ideas that I am going to be using this year with my elf. So I'll link everyone down below for you guys to check out, and make sure you head on over and say that I sent you and give them some support as well because I would really appreciate it. So I am just going to start sharing with you. Now obviously I might be able to insert some pictures but a lot of this will just sort of be ideas that I am talking through because obviously we're not quite there yet and some of these things may have not happened. So the first idea I will have will be for December 1st. Now this is going to be a sort of scavenger hunt style thing for the candy canes. Now I've seen this going around on a couple of different people's videos before and on their ideas and what it is is I'm going to be hiding the 10 candy canes around my house and I'm going to lead my children on a scavenger hunt. Now, the first um, clue will obviously be with the elf himself. Now, our elf is actually called Truffles, and so Truffles will leave the first clue with himself, and then you will have the scavenger hunt to find the other nine candy canes, and then on the last candy cane, you will get a clue to where your gift will be. They will obviously have their chocolates filled in their advents that are hanging on the living room door, but he is also going to bring them the advent big book and a couple of colouring items as well. So that will be what is the hidden prize at the end of the scavenger hunt. So the first one I would say is having the little elf there with the candy cane box empty with a scavenger hunt in mind. Now I actually sent out a message to my sister, my mum and my brother asking them to give me some sort of poem or some rhyme or scavenger hunt ideas. So my brother sent a really good idea and my mum did. My sister sent one with a couple of swear words so we're going to miss that one out I'm afraid. Sorry Jules but we are going to be going for my mum's one this year. So I, what I'll do is I will actually share all these ideas when it actually happens. When they come down in the morning, they will see the end empty candy cane box with their elf sitting on top with the little poem and the first clue. And that is kind of how the first idea is going to go. So I think my kids will really enjoy that. We did a scavenger hunt at Halloween and they had a blast. Well, my daughter had a blast. My son kind of just ran around following her looking for the chocolates. So it'll be very similar, looking for the candy canes with a small prize at the end. So my second idea will be an elf snowball fight. So what this will entail is having scrunched up balls of white paper downstairs. So I will raid my daughter's colouring book, reusable pieces of paper that I can scrunch up and leave all over the living room. And what I am planning on doing is having Mr Elf with a couple of my daughter's toys, maybe some Barbies, some cuddly toys, and make it look like they've had this really fun snowball fight. And then my kids can then join in at that point and throw the snowballs around afterwards for a little bit more fun. Now, I know this is going to be an absolute hit because my kids love throwing things. That sounds terrible. But like we love to like throw the ball around together. And my son's got a really good aim for a one year old. My daughter has a blast. So I think it'll be really fun when she comes in and sort of sees all the snowballs and the sort of teddies and stuff laid around. And then they can then join in with the snowball. So it will be a snowball fight for my second idea. The third idea that I have is... I just mentioned there that the elf on the 1st December will fill up the advent calendars that I have in my living room with chocolate coins. What I think our elf might do this year is actually go in to the living room while the kids are sleeping and start eating some of the chocolate coins. So when the kids come down in the morning, they are going to see the elf with a whole bunch of gold chocolate coin wrappers sitting around them with a chocolate covered face and some of the coins emptied out of the advent. Now I know my daughter is going to be so upset by this, I will have replacement ones in the kitchen, but I thought that would be really fun for a mischievous little elf to come along and eat some of the kids' chocolates. I just make it a little bit of fun for them in the morning because when my daughter comes down, she's going to be so excited every single morning going into the advent and pulling out her chocolate. So if there is going to be some missing, she will for sure know. And I think that would be really fun, her spotting her elf with the chocolates around. And obviously mum and dad will have spare in the kitchen that I can replace it. But initially she won't know that and she'll just think that the elf was being cheeky and ate some of hers and her brother's chocolate. 
the fourth idea that I have is my son is really into his cars at the moment and we have a whole bunch of sort of like cars and his little trucks downstairs. So what I thought our elf might do is create a racetrack in the living room. Now this is going to be a fun one because I'm going to get a whole bunch of my husband's electrical tape and make little racetracks all around our living room floor with the trucks all sort of on the, the racetrack and then maybe the elf and a couple of the other toys sitting around that. So it looks like the elf and some of Aria and Colt's toys have been playing with racetrack and racing games throughout the evening and then I know my kids will enjoy that racetrack as the day goes on and they will be able to play along those lines too. So some of the ideas that I'm going to do are obviously going to then let the kids have a little bit of fun throughout the day with the ideas that the elf has brought along. So yes, the whole floor will be laid out in a racetrack with electrical tape, some cars along it, and the toys all playing and cheering each other on as they're having a little race during the evening when we are all fast asleep. So the next idea I'm thinking of doing is, I know a lot of people have their mischievous elf, he wraps up the toilet seat. What I think I'm going to do is wrap up the television. So I'm going to wrap up the TV set and then basically have a note with the elf sitting next to it saying that I have had a fun evening wrapping up the television and you now have to locate the TV remote somewhere within the living room kitchen area before you get to watch and unwrap the TV. Now, I thought this would be a little bit fun because the first thing in the morning we will do, quite honestly, is pop the TV on while they have their milk and biscuit and all of us just sort of wake up in the morning. So if they're both obsessed with Paw Patrol at the moment, so I think it would be really funny if they come in, see the TV completely wrapped up and know that they cannot watch anything until they find that TV note that our cheeky little truffles the elf has hidden for them. Somewhere probably in the living room or into the kitchen. It won't be upstairs, it'll just be a quite an easy little find for them. For them to have a little bit of fun in the morning and for our little truffles the elf to have a little bit of fun in the evening wrapping up that television too. So the next idea I have will be the little truffles the elf swinging from the lamp which is behind the living room door and it'll have a bit of twine attached to the top of the Christmas tree and he will be using candy canes to sort of slide along there to try and get the last chocolate tree off the tree. Now we hung some chocolates on the tree this year. My kids are loving sort of every couple of nights they will go and have a look on the tree and see if they can spot a chocolate and if they can they can share it just before they go to bed and things like that. It's a nice little sort of treat for them. My, my son is loving it and my daughter's loving it too so I think it'll be really funny if the elf is on his way to steal one of their last chocolates off the tree by attaching this sort of piece of rope and he will be mid-swing with the candy canes in his hand which I think will be really funny and my daughter will love to spot him up there so I think that's a brilliant idea super creative and really quite a simple one to do as well. So the next one my daughter is loving bringing all her cuddly toys downstairs during the day and then she cuddles a whole bunch of them at night time and one of her favourites is her Tigger and a couple of her Barbies and so one of the ideas I'm having is having the elf read one of Aria's favourite Christmas stories to some of her cuddly toys in the morning so when she wakes up cuddly toys won't be in her bed which she will be pretty upset about and she'll be quite confused as to where they are. She will just head down there and she will see her toys sitting around in a circle with the elf reading a story which I think will be absolutely adorable because I think that is one of the best things to do is sit together and read a book and so the fact that her elf is reading to her favourite toys I think she will absolutely love it. So I think that's a really simple one as well and that the elf will be enjoying reading a story to the cuddly toys and having a little bit of fun. So I think when she wakes up in the morning and see her cuddly toys are no longer in her bed she will be initially quite upset until she finds what they are doing and that her elf is having a little bit of fun reading a story to them as well. So I think that's a really cute idea for the elf to be doing with her cuddly toys. And so the final idea that I have to share with you is going to be for Christmas Eve morning. Now Christmas Eve is one of the best days in my opinion. I love Christmas Eve and I think it's such an exciting day for kids. So I think it'd be a really lovely idea for Truffles the Elf to create this really magical breakfast for the kids for Christmas Eve before he heads on back to the North Pole and helps Santa with all the presents. The kids will come downstairs into the living room where they'll have their Christmas Eve bags on the sofa with a little note from Truffles to say what he thinks and whether he thinks they've been good this year, if he's looking forward to bringing them presents and then he will tell them to go into the kitchen where there'll be this really, really Christmassy scene set up with waffles, pancakes, some Christmas cookies, they'll have nice festive Christmas mugs to drink out of and just have a really nice Christmas breakfast together as a family. I think my kids will love the fact that the elf has set that up for them in preparation for Santa. It just builds that excitement, doesn't it, on Christmas Eve and I think it's almost like a little thank you to them for being such good kids throughout the year and that he is excited to go and help Santa with all the presents and yeah, set them up a really nice Christmas breakfast. So I really hope that you have enjoyed some of these Elf on the Shelf ideas. Obviously there is a little bit of mischievous Elf in there, but there's also just some caring and sweet Elf ideas too. Super simple ideas. I don't want to do anything too extravagant this year because my kids are so young. I've also only shared a handful of ideas because my kids are so young. My Elf will certainly be not moving around that often. He will be taking it easy in between and then just do a little 
a little bit of fun every couple of days. And I think that's more than enough, especially when my daughter is only four years old and my son is only one. I think they will have fun regardless. And I think it will be just something exciting for them to wake up to every other morning, just sort of seeing what is they have been up to this time. And yeah, I think it will be a lot of fun. So I really hope that you've enjoyed. I hope that some of these ideas will be quite fun for you. They're all really simple ideas, but they're, I think they'll be really effective. And I think the kids will absolutely have a ball checking what their elf has done in the morning when they head on downstairs. I really hope that this has given you some just sort of fun, simple ideas to do with your elf on the shelf for your kids this year. It doesn't have to be too extravagant, something simple. And I know my kids and I'm sure your kids will absolutely love it as well. So please let me know down below which one is your favourite that I've mentioned and which one you will be doing with your kids this year. Like I said, they're super simple ideas. So I think they'll be really effective for young kids. And I think it will be a lot of fun for you to do as an adult as well. Um, so please let me know down below if you haven't subscribed already I would love it if you would and make sure you turn on that notification bell for any future videos that I will be uploading and please head on over and check out the other amazing ladies that I've collabed with on this video I am so excited to go and see what their ideas I'm sure some of us have very similar ideas so I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one thank you bye